Kilo, a metal detector is an instrument that detects the presence of metal nearby. This time I will show you how to make a very sensitive induction balance type of metal detector made with the help of Arduino microcontroller and several other components. The induction balance principle uses two coils arranged in such a way that, uh, that there is virtually no inductive pickup between them. A modulated signal is fit in into one. When the metal is both near, the electromagnetic field is disturbed and the other coil uh, picks up a considerably higher signal. In a few of my previous videos you can see the making of different types of metal detectors. In terms of detection capability, this detector is the most sensitive but also big advantages. Advantage is that it is a standalone instrument that does not use a smartphone as one of the previous ones that has a sensitivity closest to this one. The construction is very simple thanks to the microcontroller but also the module for weak signal amplification with LM358 integrated circuit which can be ordered for less than a 50 cents. However, for those who cannot obtain this module I also presented a schematic diagram uh, which the amplification is done with two standard NPN transistors with the sensitivity of the device being the same as in the previous case. This project was sponsored by PCBWay. PCBWay is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company based in China with an experience of more than a decade in the field of PCB prototype and fabrication. It is committed to meeting the needs of their customers from different industries in terms of quality, delivery, cost effectiveness and any other demanding requests. Moreover, now PCBWay provides high quality material TG150-160 but the same price with TG130-140. Get 10 PCBs only $5 from PCBWay. The principle of operation is as follows. Uh, the Arduino generates a signal on pin 8 which is then amplified by MOSFET transistor and fit to the transmitter coil. Then the signal of the receiver coil is amplified by the LM358 module or with two transistors in the second option and carry it to the A0 input of Arduino. We also have a two potentiometers uh, on analog inputs that regulate the reaction threshold and thus the sensitivity of the instrument. The buzzer and LED serve as a sound and visual indication when detecting a metal object. As I mentioned before, the device is relatively simple to build and contains several components. Arduino Nano microcontroller LM358 low signal amplifier module, power MOSFET transistor, in my case STP65NF06, but you can use any power MOSFET, for example IRF630. Next, two potentiometers, 10 kilo ohms, buzzer, LED diode, and double D-shaped surge coil with appropriate capacitor, in this case one microfarad. Now let's see how the detector works in reality and how sensitive it is.
And now a few words about the coils. They consist of 60 turns uh, of 0.5 mm square enameled copper wire coiled in a circle within, with a diameter of 15 cm. Then they are bent in the shape of the letter D. The wire should be wound close together and kept well bunched and taped to keep it together when removed from the former. Two such coils are required and both are identical. You will find more about how to win the coils in my previous videos. The sensitivity of the detector mostly depends on the coils and especially uh, on their placement. Putting them in an ideal position requires a lot of patience and time, but that is the greatest pleasure in making device, especially when we achieve the best performance. First, we need to likely fix the two coils in the shape as you see in the video. Both potentiometers should be around the middle position. Uh, then turn on the detector and carefully move the coils to the position where the sound will be lost. Then we move the potentiometers to the position before the sound appears. We are now testing the operation with a larger metal object. This procedure needs to be prepared many times until we get the greatest sensitivity. In this version, with the amplifier module, we can try to increase the sensitivity even more by turning the two potentiometers counterclockwise, but then the detector is more unstable and very sensitive to minimal displacement of the coils. As you can see in the video, this detector can detect a small coin at a distance of 25 cm or more, a hard disk plate at a distance of 55 cm and a large metal object at a distance of more than 80 cm in the air. It was even amazing to me how easily the detector reacted to the outer metal door at distance of more than 110 cm. Uh, but the ability to locate objects buried in the soil are of course dependent on soil conditions. Dry sand being the most favorable and clay is the worst me medium. 